30 years ago, a 25-year-old auto upholsterer answered God's call to come to the desert, Tucson, Arizona, and begin a church. Robert Furrow had served as the youth pastor at Calvary Albuquerque, but God was calling him to something different, something bigger. On October 31, 1985, Robert, his wife Lisa, and five others gathered at the Residence Inn Hotel on East Speedway and held the first Bible study of Calvary Chapel, Tucson. Well, you know, when Robert and Lisa first began their adventure in Tucson, they were living in Albuquerque. We were both on staff together. Robert was just leaving and I was coming in. And Robert was getting ready to prepare for the adventure. And there was one particular time when he came to our chapel bookstore and he asked me about recording his sermons. And there were 450 prophets for Baal. And Elijah called them all to Mount Carmel. People, he said, look, why are you following after these two opinions? If God be God, then serve him. After a month, the Bible study moved to a larger site where 200 people were now meeting at the Smuggler's Inn. Now, with the reason to make the move and settle in, Robert, Lisa, and new baby Jessica decided to make Tucson their home in January of 1986. After moving from hotel to hotel, God blessed Calvary Chapel Tucson with its first permanent building in July of 1986, what would come to be known as West Campus. But I remember when I first uh, became involved with Calvary Tucson, I remember going to the West Campus and uh, it was at that time the only campus and the pews being set up and just thinking back of that beginning and how in a warehouse Robert managed somehow to get pews rather than chairs is kind of, uh, uh, to me, kind of an odd, funny situation. God was moving. Calvary Chapel Tucson was growing. It soon became evident that pews or chairs more seats were needed. People were hungry to hear the life-saving message of the gospel, taught in the powerful verse-by-verse -verse style that Calvary Chapel had become known for. I remember him sharing a message out of 1 John about how much God loved us, and I can recall actually being moved to tears in a church service for the first time in years. Uh, it was just a very powerful experience. And in the early 90s, a second campus formed first at Santa Rita High School, then various buildings on the east side. Then in 2000, a nice corner property at Speedway and Camino Seco became available. As Robert and Lisa faithfully sought the Lord together, teaching God's Word and how to practically apply it to life, Calvary Tucson grew into much more than just a church, but a real family of God. There is one word I could use to describe Calvary Tucson, it would be family. Because from the very first moment that I met Pastor Robert, from the very first moment I stepped out on the stage of both the East and West Campus to Calvary Tucson, I just felt at home. I felt like these, these are my people, my family. And I know that might be terrifying for you all. You look at me and say, this guy's family, but it's true, isn't it? In 2012, the Calvary family suffered a great and painful loss as lung cancer took Lisa's life. Lisa had been a part of this church from the beginning and had developed an active and growing women's ministry. Through what was a dark and very sad time, the Lord continued to move on Robert's heart. Many prayers were lifted. Friends and loved ones stepped in to offer enormous support, and God was faithful in seeing Robert and his children through this tragedy. You know, ministry is way more than just a message. It's even way more than just being faithful and stable. It's having fun. And Robert, I know that there's been some pain, there's been some heartache, there's been some tears, but there's also been a lot of laughter and there's also been a lot of fun. After a time of grieving, Laughter and joy returned as God brought Kathy into Robert's life in late 2014. They became husband and wife in April of 2015. 
Now, together with the new season ahead, we look forward to what God has planned for Calvary Tucson. We also look back with great gratitude and amazement at what God has done in 30 years. We pray Calvary Tucson will continue to boldly and faithfully do God's work until he returns for his church. If I can encourage you going forward as a church, just keep doing what you're doing. You guys are bold for Jesus. You're bold for the gospel and you continue to push out into not only Tucson and the region which you live, but you guys are pushing out into the world. You guys just keep doing that. And when that trumpet sounds and those who are Christ get to meet him in the air, you'll hear, well done, good and faithful servant. So I, we wanna celebrate you on 30 years. And if God delays his coming, the next 30 years for Calvary Tucson is gonna be radically fruitful. Happy 30th anniversary, Calvary Tucson and Maranatha. 